So the pen tip presents the same issues we had with the pen mechanism is the inside is going to be basically impossible to dimension because we can't dimension to hidden lines and there's nothing that we can see. So I'm going to switch to size A paper here again. So I can put my base view. This part is just the basics. Top, I'll do my isometric. This view is kind of unnecessarily un is not necessary because it does have that rotational symmetry. Um, now I have my front view and my top view. I'm going to give this a visible edge only so there's no hidden lines in this view because this is my part preview. Now to be able to dimension to these hidden lines I would need to have them as object lines and to get them as object lines I need to cut away part of this to show that. So the fourth from the left is creating a section view. So a section view if we select that view we can go slightly above there slightly below here um, and then I can hit the check to get that. That's going to generate this section view. I just want to do that again just to show what I did there. So section view selected the view I'm going to cut in half. What I did is I kind of went to the middle. I saw that triangle. I moved just a little bit above it. Clicked. Went down to the bottom till it was straight. A little bit past it. And then you'll hit create and continue. That's going to let me do my section view. Say OK on that. So you just want to make sure like this detail doesn't end up going under this line on the bottom, uh, messing up kind of like butting in with the details underneath there. So that view lines up with this view. And what it's going to help you do is you can actually dimension now. I just hit D on the keyboard. Information and parts of the pen that maybe you couldn't get to normally because we can't dimension to hidden lines. So over here, those dashes are technically hidden lines because you can't see into the pen tip from that view. So you can dimension the opening to the pen either on the top as a diameter or on this section view here because we cut that in half. Now it would probably be uh, better for someone trying to make it if they knew that it was a circle. So dimensioning it here makes a lot of sense. Um, but the information about the thickness of the material, that is something that you couldn't really get from the outside because we can't dimension to those hidden lines again. So this drawing is going to introduce you to the section that's fourth from the left on how to create a section view. So for the pen tip, you're going to have the front view, the top view, and a section view on which you're going to dimension the thickness of the material. So that's how you do the pen tip drawing diagram. Let me know if you have any questions.